sleepy. You better be careful. You're going to put yourself under again. I'm not really sure I was ever really under. You watch. You'll be sure. <laughs> Stay awake if you can, because Ron's taking us to an altered state. And also to me. Right. My name is Stephen Marino, and in my real world, I am an 8th grade middle school teacher in the Wilmington Public Schools. I've been a teacher for 28 years. Steve is not your typical math teacher. His methods are a little non-traditional. I had many students that had math anxiety. And I was trying to think of a way to help my students with overcome this math anxiety. And I knew very little about hypnosis, but it just came to me out of nowhere. So that night I went home, I looked in the phone book under hypnosis schools, I actually found someone, and I learned how to be a hypnotist. Now that's new math. After becoming proficient in the art and having some success in the classroom with it, Steve began to hypnotize all kinds of audiences. I do high schools, colleges, resorts in Aruba, house parties, uh, oh, oh my God, fears, all, really anything. But one group stands out above the rest. High school groups are the best shows. High school students make the best subjects. Now why is that? What does it take to be hypnotized? A great imagination and high school kids have fabulous imaginations. High school kids love to perform. High school kids love to do let their hair down without inhibitions. So high school shows are the easiest to go. Today's gig, a high school going away party in Maine. I don't think these kids have a clue what they're getting into. Now, are, is there any hesitation that you might be embarrassed or something like that? Oh, Not really. Why? I'm a pretty big loser anyway. <laughs> Why are you a little scared? Why are you a little hesitant? I don't want to make a fool of myself. You think he'll do that? Maybe make you cluck like a chicken or something? I hope not. The reason why hypnotists don't like doing the stereotype dog and chicken is that it really is not number one. It, we feel that it kind of cheapens the, the show. That's the same way we feel here at Across America. Yeah, right. But 20 high school kids? Good luck, Steve. The most important part of the show, what we're going to do for the first five or six minutes, is to really explain to people what hypnosis is, and that when you are hypnotized, you are always in control. You only do things that you would normally do if you weren't hypnotized. And that when you are hypnotized, I'm just giving you suggestions. And you will only do a suggestion that is within your morals. Most kids can't even concentrate on an hour's worth of homework. How is Steve going to put them under? I guess we're about to find out. Relax every muscle, every nerve, in every fiber in your entire body. And with each breath you take, and with each sound of my voice, you go into a beautiful, deep, deep sleep. Go way down deep, way down deep into that deep sleep. I'm not convinced yet, but Steve asked me to help out. I'm so tempted to get them to cluck like a chicken. At this point, the kids seem under or extremely sleepy. Reminds me of my high school mornings. I need everyone right now to sit up straight, keep your eyes closed. Sit up straight, keep your eyes closed, stay in hypnosis. Now the fun begins. It feels so good. The first victim has fallen and can't get up. Of course, Steve has something to do with that. I'm going to phone up and ask you to open your eyes and stay in hypnosis. You're going to try to sit in your chair. You'll sit up straight, but then you're going to notice that your butt is stuck to the lung. What's your name, by the way? Andy. Andy? Okay, Andy, can you just sit in your chair, please? Andy, come on, sit in your chair. I think we have a problem here. 
What seems to be the problem here? Really? You can't get up? Why can't you get up? What's the problem? You don't know? Just get up in your chair. Come on, Andy. Okay, I'm impressed, but still skeptical. For his next trick, Steve is going to ask Emily to speak Japanese, something she has never done. Japanese. Whenever I say to you in English, you would speak to me in Japanese, right? Okay, Japanese Empress. In Japanese, in a loud voice, in Japanese, say, You are now my village. We're Japanese hot. In Japanese, you're going to use your hand, fragile. Say, I'm going to take all the women and chop up into little pieces. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Glad she doesn't feel the need to do as Steve says. Well, the kids seem hypnotized, but what about an adult? Forget Japanese. This woman is going to speak Martian. Okay. Now, you are the Ma's best Martian national anthem singer. You understand that, Marjorie Head Farming? You sing the Martian national anthem loudly, articulately. Everyone, out of respect for the Martian national anthem, Let's have the two-handed Martian salute right now. The two-handed Martian salute. Everyone, the two-handed Martian salute. The Martian National Anthem. Loud. To my doi do da da mu da do ba da da do ba da do da ba do do everything. Okay, I'm starting to buy into this even more. But getting a high school boy to pretend he's a stripper, now that would sell me. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous, the one and only Gypsy Mosley. Let's hear for Gypsy. Go ahead, Gypsy. All right, Gypsy. Tease the guys. Man, this guy is 18. Whoa, baby. Let's really do some teasing. These guys right here. Right there, give him a tease. Here's a little tease, huh? Boy, you got the moves, Gypsy. You got the moves. Is Gypsy a fabulous dancer or what, huh? Okay, Gypsy, come on back, come on back. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Okay, you can cut now. Let's have a nice round of applause for Gypsy, and thanks for the ear. Yeah, yeah. Sit down, Gypsy. Sit down. Poor kid. We'll never live that one down. And with that, it's time to bring everyone back to reality. Let's have a nice round of applause for our hypnotic guest. Everyone out of the nose right now. Thank you for coming up. Oh, right. You people are fantastic. Okay. Being the comedian he is, Steve has given one of these teenagers a post-hypnotic suggestion. The kid thinks he's awake, but watch what he does when Steve mentions Paul Revere. Uh, do you know who my favorite person is in history? I love Paul Revere! Hey, come here! Come here! Where's your coming? Come on! What's going on here? Where's your coming? Come here! They're, not, they're coming! They are coming? The Little British are coming! He almost had me fleeing to safety. History class could be a real problem for this kid in the future. Hey, folks, thanks a million for inviting, inviting us up, huh? Show's over, and I've got to know were these kids just acting? Emily, what just happened here? What do you remember? I remember everything, but I don't remember myself telling myself to do those things. I don't know. It's just a really weird feeling. And what about Sleepy Andy? What's the last memory you have before being hit? Do you have any memory of this party? Yeah, we're playing volleyball. And that's the last thing you ever remember. And how about the sexy Gypsy Rose? I guess I was a stripper and I was hitting on Brian. <laughs> and I crawled on the ground and teased him and 
stuff. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you this. You've got some good moves. you got a future in dancing or striptease. Just keep that in mind. All right. Parents won't be too excited. I, mean, but. I don't remember anything at really? all. I don't remember anything at all. It was, I, I felt, I just felt like I was asleep the entire time. How do you feel now? Awake. I feel relaxed. I feel like I just got that from a nap. Well, I've seen it and you've seen it, but there's only one way to really convince me. When we come back, I'm going under. <laughs> 